This video cropped up on Reddit. It shows a white cigar-shaped object being viewed from the window of a plane. It's described as a tic-tac and the location given is in eastern Kansas. Now you'll probably recognize this as being just another plane. The low resolution and the lighting mean you only see the white fuselage, not the darker wings, and even most of the people on UFO Twitter and UFO Reddit seem to agree it's probably just a plane. But which plane? And can we prove it's a plane? It was shared on Metabunk yesterday evening. Firstly, the plane type was identified by Flaki as a United Airlines Embraer E-175 based on the image of the wing. I then found the original report in the MUFON database and extracted the precise time of the start of the video from its EXIF data. 20.07.31 UTC on September the 1st, 2022. Then Easy Muffin found two planes that seemed like a great match. Skywest 5553 flying for United and Delta 982. They also identified features in the terrain where the planes cross paths that perfectly match the video. It turned out that the location in the video description was off by over 300 miles to the west. Flaky downloaded the KML files, letting us look at the ADSB GPS tracks in Google Earth, and Jal Mai identified some more matching features in the terrain. Finally, I took those ADSB tracks and the start time of the video and dropped them into my new version of the SITREX simulator that shows the view of one plane from another. It was a perfect match, proving that these were the actual planes. SITREX allows me to recreate arbitrary situations in a variety of ways. I originally set it up for Gimbal, GoFast, FLIR1, Aguadilla, and others, but I recently extended it to do these plane from plane UFO sightings, and it's been very useful in proving that what we see is a plane. Here's another similar case near Lake Michigan. Lessons learned? Firstly, if you take a video from a plane, then note your flight number. That will save a lot of work. Also, note the exact time down to the second, including what time zone that time is in. If possible, share the original video file direct from your camera. Also, Tools are a great time saver. It takes a lot of work to program them, but if you're doing the same manual process over and over again, then you should bite the bullet and automate it with a little code. This was a fun little investigation, and I sense a lot more code in my future.